top end. Yep, find out shortly. They're set. Here's Enzo. They're all in. And they're off. Restless in the stalls was Grand City Horn. He missed the break as a result of that. But they are racing for the Dubai Duty Free Shergar Cup Sprint. The three-year-olds over six furlongs. Starting well towards the far side, Dapper Valley. Leading up for Rachel King. Towards the near side is Venture Capital. Just off the pace, the white cap daring legend is next. Then comes Thunder Blue. Is also quite handy. Towards the near side, Imperial Guard is right there too with the orange cap. Looking for this hot favourite then. Giraffe is a little bit further back down the field. The red cap but making ground. Behind Giraffe is a Ram Ram towards the near side. And Bulldog Drum and Rachel Venneker is towards the back of the field. Making up ground. Grand City Hall towards the far side. So passing halfway inside the three. Towards the near side, the light blue Venture Capital with the nose band just has the lead. Jaraf though is making ground for Billy Lochnan to go into third place the red cap towards the far side trying to get through his thunder blue but they head down with a full and a half to go and the leader is still Venture Capital. Leads by a leg now Jaraf though is making ground the red cap and here he comes the hot favourite and Billy Lochnan producing Jaraf with a strong looking challenge towards the near side and he takes it up inside the final furlong and Jaraf is now going clear from Venture Capital back in second place and then behind those thunder blue Billy Lochnan though announces himself on the Shergar Cup stage, Jaraf wins. Second place will go to Venture Capital. Home in third was Thunder Blue for the ladies' team, and they're ahead of the others. Well, he took a little bit of time to wind up, but Giraffe has done it for Great Britain and Ireland. Billy Lochnane and Owen Burroughs, Sheikh Ahmed Al Maktoum as well. This is a very progressive horse, Jay. Yeah, he is. He hit that little bit of a flat spot and didn't look like winning momentarily, did he? And I should imagine, Alex, it's no, it's, it's no sort of surprise that the team, Owen Burroughs, decided to run him over seven furlongs on a couple of occasions. Look, he's now got a perfect three from three sprinting, and I'm not quite sure sure where his future lies but if you're you're winning over this trip at the moment you're, you're not gonna change it right now again he's surely just looking at him he's surely gonna be a better horse when he when he goes over further you know he was I think he was just flat to the boards to be honest with you and he just he just took a little bit of time to pick up and look he, he's going away at the end he's won he's won convincingly but I I wonder if he's been a little bit of a live wire and that's why they dropped him down. He had the red hood on, didn't he, going down to post. He takes a bit of, while, of a while to, to wind up. He's maybe just learning the job now and now he's learning and settling. Maybe they could step him up, Jason. Yeah, that's a, that's a possibility. You know, he goes off a 9-4 to four favourite at Newbury. He was put in his place, although he wasn't beaten far. And then at Sandown, he didn't look to really have any excuses other than he was forwardly positioned. Back sprinting. You're right, they go a bit quicker. He can drop in and find that little rhythm. And, um, yeah, massive run from Venture Capital. They'll be pleased with that. I can't believe he was 20 to 1, Jace. Well done, because you flagged him up beforehand. Yeah, the owners, um, well, um, the, 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 the lady and her son, who I was having a chat with at, at breakfast, um, interesting that um, their horses run a blinder for the Kevin Ryan team. Yeah. What did you have for breakfast? Four poached a eggs. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But this giraffe, you can see why he was well supported here. I mean, this is a team competition. We're talking about the teams, but sometimes something comes along that you think, hang on a minute, that just edges it. And I think, Luke, that that's happened with giraffe. Yeah, it's nice to see, you know, it's not just full of handicappers that aren't going anywhere this meeting. You know, this, this horse has, has plainly got a big future in front of him. He's, he's done that off 95. Would you, know, would you put him up in triple digits after that? Would he, would he get oh, more yeah. than a five-pound rise, will. you of think? Of course he will, yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Okay, once, so. once, they, once they start improving, the handicapper, they don't miss them after that. They don't like to be made fools of. And, yeah, he'd be a, he's a, surely a group horse. Yeah, he looks really smart. No big entries yet, but they'll be able to uh, plan a nice campaign with him. But Billy Lochnane gets a win on the board for Great Britain and Ireland, and that will have stood them in very good stead in the team standings. We'll confirm that for you shortly, but what we're going to do now is pop over to Deauville for their next race, and it's Luke.